Hey everybody, it's Shelly Rose. I'm back with another video. Today I want to talk about scammers and people who try to be a celebrity by using their profiles, their biographies, their image, anything they can just to scam you out of their money. I mean, out of your money. You know, um, nowadays these scammers are getting really smart. You know, and they're thinking they are not going to get caught. Well, I'd like to share with you some experiences or a couple of experiences that I've had. I've actually had three. And by the way, what you're watching in the background is a YouTube uh, top 10 uh, on scammers. As a matter of fact, they're doing a countdown about what tricks scammers are using these days, like the 900 numbers and how to get uh, your credit card offline and even off. I mean, online and even off line, meaning when you go out to a restaurant or to a gas station or to a pharmacy or anywhere that you guys like to hang out, even a club, um, scammers try to find a way to get your money by getting your card information. And all they have to do is write it down or scan it. In fact, you can even have your card with you and they all they have to do is take some little device and scan your purse without you even knowing it. In fact, that's happened to me a couple of times when I went out of town, as a matter of fact. But <clears throat> anyway, I've even had someone take advantage of me online as well. People got my card information offline or online and somehow... Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one they got, you know. I'm pretty sure that there are people online, too, that use their cards, and they got their information, too. Um, so I stopped that. Hopefully other people did, too. I'm sure they did. But anyway, also, people that pretend to be celebrities, they also do the same thing. They scam people out of money, you know. They think that by being this other person, by being the celebrity, they can get you to uh, give them money or anything they want. You know, and it's pathetic when all they need to do is just be themselves and be honest with people. You know, because you never know. You know, but whatever. You know, um, anyway. In fact, I'm talking to a guy on Instagram who says he's a country star singer. And, of course, I don't believe him, you know, because of the fact that he misspells things a lot. His grammar is just totally off and uh, just incorrect. And the fact that he couldn't even understand a simple question that I said. Uh, well, rather, that I asked. And the question was, what would you do if an actual celebrity asked you for money, your favorite celebrity? And he came back with, I don't understand you at all. Now, if that is not a clear sign that um, that, that isn't the real person, then I don't know what is. You know, because uh, a real celebrity, you know, a real down-to-earth celebrity who truly cares about their fans, doesn't expect nothing from them, you know, that is a true celebrity to me. And those are the ones that I definitely would want to meet. You know, uh, but those people who scam, no. You know, but there are celebrities out there, too, that think that just because they're rich and famous, you know, that they can take advantage of their friends, I mean, their fans. 
you know, by asking them for money. You know, because either they've lost their money and they became homeless, or they're rich and famous and they think they can treat their fans like crap by using them. Which to me is pretty pathetic if you think about that. You know, because... Celebrities don't need fans' money. Now, I understand that there are charities out there that, um, you know, where celebrities sponsor and they actually um, ask you for money because it's needed. That's fine because I've been known to donate uh, to charities, you know, a couple of them. And I can deal with that. But when you get celebrities that actually ask you for money because they need to put it on their phone when they can very well do it themselves, that is just ridiculous. And anyway, I know scammers out there, they like to take advantage of mostly old people and people with disabilities because they think that we're not smart, that we're slow and... Uh, we won't know the difference, you know, but you are wrong. We are smarter than you think. And if you think that you scammers won't get caught, you will, because we are not promised tomorrow. We are living on borrowed time. And you may have taken advantage of one person today, or even more than that. But you will end up getting caught tomorrow or sometime in the future, you know. Um, one day you're gonna slip up and make a mistake. And, it's a, and it may be small to you, but in the end it will turn out to be your biggest downfall. You guys need to do something better with your lives Get a job, volunteer, help people out instead of trying to rip people off their money. You guys have way too much time in your hands and you guys need to do better. And what we as a people who get scammed by you, we just need to be more careful and try not to fall for scammers like you. You know, because why... You scammers feel like you need to take advantage of people is beyond me. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.